<laughs> hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. I was not expecting Mario to burr at me. But anyway, we have all 50 Papa Coins in this level now. And I think we have probably most of the moons. But we're still missing a few. Oh, and I actually needed to go back up this way. Well, that's a shame. So we're going to finish up this kingdom and then probably figure out the rest of the moons that we can possibly get before moving on. And then doing that. So let's go get a, a frog. A frog, yeah. Which is at the back of this place, if I can actually get over there without rolling off the edge. Mm -hmm. Just rolling in a random direction, it's fine. So we're going to take this frog on a journey. A very long journey. Need to take it all the way over to that one pillar in the middle of the nowhere, on the edge. This is also probably the way you're supposed to get the moon down here, is by jumping into it with the frog. But we already got it, so we need to take this frog over to that one over there. It's so small from here. Perspective. It's such a long way away. Jump. I need to make sure I make this jump. Oh my goodness. This may take a little bit. I also have to make sure I make this jump over here, otherwise I have to re-start from all the way back to get the frog. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Jumping high as a frog. Oh, I also see that timer challenge there that I need to do. I guess I can just warp over there. And get that. I also need to go shopping a little bit. So, I can probably do that now. Let me, let me take a look at that. And we actually don't need the purple coins uh, outfit for anything, I don't think. Other than the Lake Kingdom ast astronaut outfit. So we're just gonna buy all of this. The last sticker. And the last souvenirs. Now I've got my own moon rock fragment. Very nice. Oh, we don't need this outfit, so let's buy a different one. Which I don't know if I've already got. No, I don't. I need a doctor outfit. Let's buy that and put that on. And buy this and put that on. You can also see the rest of the outfits probably now. Oh, wow. So we have the... We had the, the bridal dress, but we've also got the gold Mario cap outfit. And the metal cap, which is Mario 64 style. Like, with the model. But it's cool. Is there anything else that I can pick out that we haven't had available before? Not really. <laughs> I might have even gone over some without even realizing it. But yeah, there's a whole lot of references to other things. And it's going to cost us a fortune to get all these outfits. Which I'm probably not going to even get all of them. Maybe? I don't know, it depends on how things go, basically. We also have the moon dog here. Who's gonna help us get things. Also, whenever he comes to an edge, he just jumps. So, so you can make him jump off an edge, basically. And then jump back to safety. Without him. But we will actually need this moon dog, or treasure hunter dog thing, to help us find stuff. So starting off, let's have him jump right over our heads. Maybe. Did I lose him? Hang on. Where'd he go? Oh, right there, because he found something. 
Excuse me, dog. 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 Just a coin. A single coin. Okay, jump. <laughs> there he goes. But anyway, I believe we need to be over in this crater over here with these moon blocks. If he doesn't get distracted. Please. Please. More coins. Okay, over here, over here, over here, over here. Give me moon. We <laughs> just jumped. I'm sure it's around here, right? Maybe it's slightly further over this way. Yep. This is it. This is the spot. Getting pushed around by a dog. There it is. Found on the moon. Good dog. And now follow me down here. Fo 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 follow me. Follow me, dog. Fo follow me. Oh, he caught Cappy. He could, you can play with the dog, I guess. Also, I thought he would actually just jump off the edge, but apparently not. My memory is all wrong. But now we need to get this, which is also looking pretty cool. Just need to do a whole bunch of long jumps. Or just go around the edge, possibly, but... It doesn't have much time, so you have to go quickly. Long jumping is best, the best option. Now, how are we doing? 30 out of 38, and I don't even see the rest. They're probably just the regular moons, then. Ah, uh, let's head over to the... the wedding hall. That one. There's also probably some in the underground, and there's also the hint art that we already picked up. So there's a few things we can do. With what that, uh, what with cake and stew I have overeaten, and my stomach hurts. Is there a doctor nearby? You appear to be a doctor from head to toe. I have been waiting for you. Thank you, I feel better now. Please take this in payment. Imagine if it was that easy. Just be a doctor and people get healthy. Doctor in the house. That should be everything in here, so let's head back. Probably to the Odyssey, so we can figure out what I'm going to do with my money and moons. Since I'm still missing moons in this level, and I don't know where they are. They're probably in underground town. And Tintart, Hint, Hint Toad is here as well. I could use my amiibo. Ah, what's amiibo? I can find them. Okay, I got him. Let's tap amiibo. Oh, I need to hold down the button, I forgot. Why do you need to hold down a button? It is also going to take five minutes for them to find stuff as well. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. He gave me coins. Need to actually tap more amiibo. Hopefully I can still tap this one. Yep. Even though I just used it. Take about five minutes. Don't need to tap again. Oh, I wonder if... Hang on. Um, hang on. I'm just wondering something. So if I tap now... This one... Gives me coins. And this one gives me... Invincibility. Not that it's going to really help that much. <laughs> that was the Mario one, by the way. Um, I guess there's invincibility in this game that I didn't know about, but that's just cool. Eh. Eh. So you don't just- you, you can take damage, but you still take hits. You can get hit, but you can- don't take damage. I mean, that's cool, and could be very useful in certain scenarios. Oh, 
Well, I'm guessing I can't just tap that immediately again. Or maybe I can. Cool. <laughs> That's really cool. That's what the, the Mario Amiibo does. Oh my goodness. I'm very happy with this knowledge. There are probably other ones that also have effects. Probably the same effect, if I had to guess, but also, I don't know. But that is cool. Did I do this tower challenge? Yes, I did. Just making sure, because I couldn't remember. Let's also go underground. Oh, yeah, I can actually remember some moons that are on the ground now. Now that I've switched my brain's process into underground area moons, it's, like, it's given me a list, it's given me a Google result of all the moons in the underground, you know, as as your brain normally does. But anyway, we need to go up there, which means we're going to need to get to the Bullet Bill area. And also, a few other things, maybe. I can't remember where any other moons are now. This is concern. This is cause for alarm. I don't think there are any other hidden moons over here, probably. I already got this one. Kinda blow this up there. I don't know how far away I am from the uh, bullet bill section, but that's where I need to go. see why I need to go over there right now. Okay, good. Also, this song is good. It's very cool. Holding my horses. Eh. Reach, little worm, caterpillar thing. It's something. Just gonna skip over that. Now, this should be where I need to be, if I'm not wrong. So let's grab a bonsai bill. And let's launch ourselves way over this way. It's such a very different look of the level from up here. But anyway, like how that is also playing along with the music. Here's a moon. Is that the only one that's actually in here that I didn't get before? Possibly. Um, how many moons are left? Minus one. Um, six or seven. <laughs> I, I I can't count five. Well, so this just takes us all the way back, which is cool. So let me just go through here a little bit more, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, I'm dead. Maybe? Yeah, I'm so dead. Fine. Fine game, if that's the way it's gonna be. I wonder what happens if I am in lava and once I've tapped my Mario. Hang on. Oh, you do take damage, you do take damage, you do take damage. Anyway. So I don't think there's anything else down here that I can remember. I'm pretty sure I got all of the secret moons down here already. Also, I'm pretty sure I can uh, bullet bibble my way across this if I have... Um... If I go up the ramp, there, it's a bit difficult to do, but it's possible. I'm just going to go through the rest of this, I guess, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm so certain I have everything down here already. But then I don't know where the rest of the moons are. Let me go back to the Odyssey now. I'm going to check the, the, the amiibo thing. Since that's probably done, I didn't actually check when that started. Oh, it's done. 
give me hints. Also, I believe there's only four we can possibly get right now. Wow, that's interesting. Oh, I probably didn't get the... I probably didn't even buy the one in the shop yet. Oh, there's this one here. There's just so many that I just missed, apparently. Just in obvious spots. Sneaking around in the center. With the crater. That's the one. The center of the crater. Maybe? Also, the other possibility is that if I have bought a moon already, then there's also... Nope, that's just a heart. Well, it was worth a shot. But let's buy the moon in here. Goodbye, my coins. I will one day have over 500 coins again. Where's the other one? Over there. That's interesting. Is it that rock there? I think it's that rock there. Probably. Or is it the rock with the coins going around it? No, it's this rock. Except we have to also make sure that this rock doesn't die. Off an edge, like that. He would nearly died. Oh, please, no. Oh, the crater is good. The crater is good. The crater is good. Crater is my friend. Oh, that was easy. Cool. I thought it was going to roll around a lot more. Rolling rock on the moon. So how many power moons do we have? 35. I think there are two that we can't get. So there should be one more? There should be one more. Right? Right. Maybe. But then where? And how? My brain is not working. Maybe it's up here? I wouldn't think it would be, but maybe. Maybe I'm just crazy. Let's head back to the other side and probably just pay 50 coins for a hint. Hopefully it's going to give me the hint that I want to know. Please give me a moon. Okay. It's not extremely useful. So there is one in the cave underground thing. But where? <laughs> but where? Where? Where am I missing a moon in the underground? It's not up here, is it? Just to trick me? I don't think so. Let's go in this entrance over here. Pretty sure you have to refight this boss every time you come through here though, which is kind of annoying. All it gives you is a few coins as well. Unless it gives me the moon now, which I doubt. Please, please, please. Final phase. Well, I was cutting it close. I mean, I still got hit, but it was still cutting it close. So that wasn't the, the thing that I was needing, since I didn't need to do that, technically. Oh, I wonder if it's down here, that one bit that I skipped over. Of course. It's not one of these Bowser heads, is it? I don't think so. I 
feel like there should be a glowing thing around here that I missed earlier. Possibly. Also, I should have talked to the talker too. What am I doing? I've played this game before. I know how to figure out where moons are. Oh, hey. How are you doing? Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Whoops. I feel like I might need to break through some of these rocks. But I also doubt... I don't remember there being one here. So I don't think it is up here. I'm so uncertain. Let's go say hello to talk to talk to since I really I can't figure this out right now. Talker 2, save me. Talker 2, save me. Kingdom Hintar. On top of the cannon. Oh, is it? Oh my gosh. Ha! <sighs> that is my sound of why did I not realize this. I know exactly where it is. I mean, it's it's in the name, really, because it's on top of that that second, like just before I died at that bullet bill section. I I died just before it on, on the bullet bill section. I was supposed to land up there, and I didn't. And I would have had the moon if I didn't die because of the lava. I'm bad. I'm bad. How did I not remember that? How did I not think to actually go up there when I was right there? Hang on. I wanna change music quickly. Because I love Above the Clouds possibly too much. I feel like that was a little bit more than I needed to do. Oh, come on. That works. Except I can't make that jump, but I can do that. So there's just a floating platform here, apparently. Okay, I'm here. Let's grab this, and let's go to that platform with the cannon on it, because that's where I need to be. I can't believe I didn't do this earlier. Oh my gosh, I fell off again. No, 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 no. Why am I not getting out of the cannon when I crash into that wall on top of the... Why am I not getting... I don't know what I'm trying to say at this point. Because usually when I hit a wall as a, a bullet bill or bonsai bill, you pop out on top of the thing you hit, basically. But it's not working with this right now, so let's just hop out right normally. And let's ground pound for that power moon. So there we go, that's all the power moons in this kingdom that we can get at the moment, I'm pretty sure. So let's head back, let's head back to the Odyssey. Eight, eight, two. What a good number. Like, not even, not even joking. That's a pretty good, pretty good number of things. Um, let's go to the Wooded Kingdom and get that hint art done. I like this loading screen.
So we're gonna get changed. Very nice. Also we have the complete selection collection of the things now. The souvenirs. That's cool. Well, we're almost at where we need to be for that hint art, so I might as well just bring it up now. Here it is. Right there. So let's head back into the game. And right there. Very nice. Also have another one for a different kingdom, which I can't even remember what it was now. Which is not useful for not trying try not to look at it. Where was that? I'm gonna have to look at it. I have to. I can't avoid. Oh right, that's where. I can't. I don't know how I keep forgetting things like two seconds after them, or anything. I just m my memory's not great. But anyway, there's that moon. Since we can deposit any coloured moon in any kingdom. And it will look like the moon of that kingdom when we deposit them, actually, so. Let's head over to the Bowser Kingdom. I feel like it would have been funny to actually have the thumbnails for, like, the previous episodes to be just super... Mario and then just remove the Odyssey bit because we haven't been using the Odyssey as much recently. Now where are we where are we going? To the shop. That's right. I remember now. So if we look at the hint art, which I'm pretty sure I've pretty probably have shown before, is this. We have six that way and then three from the flag. That's referring to the stones. So that's just ground pound here? Yeah. For an extra power moon. So how are we doing on kingdoms? Uh, start with the cap. Cascade is missing one. Sand is missing one. Metro is missing one. Luncheon is missing one. And the moon is missing one. And the Mushroom Kingdom is just its own thing. But those moons are actually all connected. So we're going to go get those now. Those missing ones from each of these worlds, basically. Because they're all connected. It's all a conspiracy to... I don't even know. I don't know what I'm saying. So, let's start off by going to the Sand Kingdom. And, right down here, to these two people, since the taxi's now out of the ice. A taxi, a taxi, you pulled up, finally, take me to the Metro Kingdom. Sorry about the hold up, had some car trouble, you would not believe. Can't leave for the Metro Kingdom yet, though, I promise I'll get sh uh, you there. Just gotta decide the, uh, dice the everything. Going to the Metro Kingdom. Going to the Metro Kingdom soon. So let's head to the Metro Kingdom. Okay, well now that we're here, let's just go ahead and go down, and look who's here.
Hiya, hiya, you again. We met in the same kingdom, remember? Or don't ya? Either way, neat to bu bump into you. Best part of the travel. The other, the people you meet. Here's a gift, friend. A tourist in the Metro Kingdom. I've seen the sights. Take me to a new place. I'd like to see a waterfall. Big one. Biggest ever. No problem. I'll get you there in a jiff. Just gotta get the mayor's autograph and we're out of here. Hang on. What do you say? Going to the Cascade Kingdom. Can't, going. Uh, can't wait. Can't wait. We could have also done this ages ago and had it just going as we went through the game, but I wanted to do it all at once because it's easier to just do it all at once so you don't actually forget where they're up to. So, let's go to the Cascade Kingdom. Also, the Mushroom Kingdom on the world map looks like a mushroom. Like a super mushroom, that is. Hey look, who's here? Surprise? Surprise? I don't know. Oh, come on, please talk. It's me, it's me, your friend from, well, the Sand Kingdom, but also the Metro Kingdom. I'm the taxi guy, I mean, he's the taxi guy, but I'm the guy riding the taxi. Here, a gift for you. A tourist in the Cascade Kingdom. I'm up for a bite. Some neat eats. Yummy grub. Mare meals. I know a place like that? I know the perfect place. We'll be there in a flash. Once I get a chance to pet one of those giant uh, metal poochies. Pooches. They've got here. Yummy grub. Meal. Major meals. Can't wait. Also the... The bridge that we made on our first episode has moon blocks in it. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, let's head over to another kingdom. Since they're moving on. Slowly upping that count. I could have also done this during the big... Um... Moon collection, but... I wanted to, um not have to go through all the paintings over and over and over to get to each of these kingdoms. You know? Because I'd have to go through them every single time. It's just not efficient. Let's go to the Luncheon Kingdom there. I think it would be cool if the next Mario 3D Mario Collection game was kind of like this, but you could actually go to different kingdoms by walking there. It'd also be cool if it was, if like a Mario game eventually was the Mario game. And if you went to different areas of the world, you actually like, it changed what the game was. Like, a, like each new game was its own DLC to the Mario game. And then, like, in the new sections, it, like, limited your abilities when it gave you new ones. Just because it was a different game, technically. Anyway. No way, no way. We've already met in the Sand Kingdom, Metro Kingdom, and Cascade Kingdom. You hop all over the place, don't you? Hey, hey. Here, a gift. A tourist in the Luncheon Kingdom. What could top this place? I mean, tip-top, sky-high, and maybe above and beyond. Whoa, well, you sure you're up for this? Because I know a place. We'll head out soon as I grab some stew. Above and beyond, can't wait. I wonder where he could possibly be going. There's only like a, a few places where he could be going that we haven't got all the moons yet. So, let's head to the moon. Woohoo! 
out of this world. You get you go get got up here? We've come a long, long way since the Sand Kingdom. Don't you love the stars? Here, take this, I get for you. A tourist in the Moon Kingdom. Hard to beat this place, but how about let's see, um yeah, a kingdom where with, with a rarest with the rarest mushrooms anywhere. You call that a challenge, friend? Do I have the place for you? Just gotta give the car a lot of gas first. <laughs> yeah, you've just driven a long way to get here. Mushrooms, mushrooms, can't wait to see them. Eight, eight, eight. Eight, 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 eight. Enough of that. Mushroom Kingdom time. Where are they? Looks like the kingdom's got a lot of lots of vi visitors. I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. It's you. Remember when we met in the Sand Kingdom? I love this place. Gentle, peaceful. Ah, uh, makes me want to settle down. Or at least give this to you. Give you this. A tourist in the mush Mushroom Kingdom. Driver, good job. Get one more place to go. Back home. Take me to the Sand Kingdom. Glad to, friend. I'll just... I'll get you home ju just as soon as I can. I'm just gonna load up on antifreeze first. <laughs> Love trouble, but miss home. But yeah, we've got a lot of visitors now. And that's because we've visited or seen Peach in every kingdom now. So we'll probably go back to that in a second, but first let's head over to the Sand Kingdom. Let's see how they went. Hey hey, welcome back! Who knew I'd meet you here? See you all over and meet you here again. Crazy. I love home. Nowhere nicer, nowhere friendlier. But great to bump into you everywhere. So here, a gift. Round the world tourist. Glad to be a driver. It's been quite a ride. I'll never forget it. Trip of a lifetime. What a trip. Truly fantastic. And with that, I believe we've got... Pretty much every kingdom completed now. Just the Mushroom Kingdom to go, I guess. Other than the few places we haven't gone yet. But yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> now we have... 890 moons. It's pretty good. So I head back to the Mushroom Kingdom. And now... Wow, that was very empty. Also over here there's a whole bunch of birds from all over the place. <laughs> Look at them. They're all very different as well, which is interesting. Especially the penguin. But anyway, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.